Welcome once again to the Saviors D&D, again our weekly Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition stream, following the adventures of our party, the Red Wall Saviors. Um, as ever at the beginning of the stream, we'd be really grateful for you to follow us here at uh, our Twitch site, and you can find links for our Twitter and YouTube uh, below the stream, um, and we will read out any new followers and donations towards the end of the stream as well. We'd be really grateful for any help, um, follows and donations all help us grow the channel. Um, without further ado, I will introduce the players and their characters. Seeing as you were so excited to go first last week, Terra, I shall <laughs> start with you again. Yay! <laughs> right. I play Mara Clearwater. I play a human cleric uh, with trade domain, which is a homebrew domain. Uh, she is a woman from outside Baldur's Gate. She's nice and she likes markets and stuff. She has a uh, oathbound guardian called Garvin, who is a dwarven fighter, who is very dangerous. Uh, yeah, I think that's about everything I think can, can think of. That's fine. It doesn't have to be super, super long. That's fine. Um, Mr. Jabberwocky? Uh, mm. You are playing a Salir. Yes, I am the voice and body and face of Salir. <laughs> I thought he was going to say of, of the saviors. <laughs> no. I'm the face. He, he is a barbarian level 8. And yes. Something like he, that. Uh, he's doing what he does in this temple as all temple goers should do, and that's murder people. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I agree. Um, thank you very much. Um, Emeralds, please. Mm -hmm. Hello, guys. Uh, I'm Emeralds, and I play the Yonti Druid slash Warlock uh, Sibrick. And I seem to be in a bit of a pickle this week. <laughs> Everyone seems to be in a bit of a pickle this week. No. Oh, yeah. You seem to be uh, collectively beating the odds. Um, and oh, last, by no means least, Mr. Dombro and Alton. Hi, I am Dombro and I play Alton. He is a little gnomish bard. He is uh, my. He's from the Feywild, so he's not out of this realm, so he's a very confused little boy. Doesn't help matters that he's actually also mute. He speaks through his white raven that goes ever with him, whose name is Quill. Um, so if you hear him speaking or casting spells, it will be through the bird, not through himself. Other than due to very specific means that Serac yeah. sometimes um, triggers. Um, oh, that's true. Good, mm -hmm. good. Right, so... Last week um, was quite an exciting week. Uh, for the you. First half, <laughs> <laughs> the first, the first half of the stream, uh, the first half of the episode, the party kept their promise to Ebro. They went and they got him from the inn and they paid to have his arm regenerated after he lost it um, defending the town of Der Balakin. Mara spent time negotiating with one of the acolytes in her temple and got a scroll of regeneration, which is a spell normally past her capabilities. And she cast the spell herself, feeling the power of her goddess channeling through her in a way that she'd never experienced before. It was, I think, quite emotional for her in, in, a, in a religious way. Um, but emotional for all of the party as they saw Ibril's arm slowly knit from the ether back into existence and he managed to scratch an itch that had been bothering him for a couple of weeks on a mm -hmm. finger that had not been there. Um, and after the emotion of this regeneration, the party all tended to their own small errands, buying bits and pieces, having some... Um, minor sort of conversations and all eventually returning to the temple of Joachim for a night of rest as ever when i'm running <laughs> <laughs> the party 
that rest was rudely interrupted by the Silken Woe. Um, and we are currently in the midst of combat. Um, we are on the top floor of the Temple of Joaquin in Neverwinter. And the party has not quite finished, but seems to be successfully fighting off an attack of Silken Woe trying to get at um, Elizir, the Overgold's wife. And whilst I don't think anyone's actually looked out the window to look yet, but the sounds of combat are surrounding the temple. So the temple guard are obviously being engaged by um, other members of the Silken Mo outside. Um, we are at the start of the combat round, and I'll just quickly um, review things in case I've got anything wrong from my notes, because it's not uncommon. Um, the apartment sure, is... <laughs> no, that's, that's why I'm giving you a chance to say, no, you're full of bullshit. No, it does. Um, it's our time the to shine. apartment is on the edge of catching fire and starting to fill with smoke after Alton exploded a fireball in the middle of the opulent lounge. Um, lots of soft furnishings and um, curtains, <laughs> quite flammable. Mm -hmm. um, there is a badly burnt wizard who you know is on the roof after he escaped with a, a misty step uh, spell, but you heard him um, appear on the roof. Uh, there are two maw demons which he summoned, currently engaged in combat with Selir. There are two drow that are in melee contact with Alton. And there are two more moving towards Garvin and Siric, but I don't think they're actually in combat range at the moment. Um, I don't know, if, um, Dombro, if you want to show the, the handout that I did for the... Uh, upper bit Yay. of the temple. Yeah, yeah. The beautiful map. <laughs> so, you know, I'll get that up. I, I, when, when this goes up, uh, and, and for the players, if you're looking at it yourselves, Alton at the moment is in the right-hand arcing sort of semicircular corridor. Um, which, I think sorry, which, were... is this the upper? Upper, sorry, yeah. yes. Yeah, you're on the upper. That's the ground. There's the upper. Yep. Alton's on the right-hand corridor, um, that's sort of the, the curving corridor. Um, I think he's about 15 feet back, hiding in a wee alcove. Yeah. Mara, Siric, and Garvin are on the left-hand side, with Siric and Garvin um, coming out into the main room, and Salir is basically in the middle of the main <laughs> room. <laughs> that's just how Salir do. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So... Um, at the top of the round, it is Garvin. Right. Uh, so he's got two of the the basic bitch drow um, <laughs> approaching him about 10 to 15 feet away from him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, well, Garvin. I shouldn't have made a laugh so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Garvin is going to show them who is the chief bitch and he's going to attack them. Yep, so he's moving up the 15 feet and attacking yeah. them. That's not so a problem. That first one is probably a miss, unless they have an AC of 10. No, they don't have an AC of 10. Or 9. Right, so he attacks the same one again. Uh, uh, 12? A 12 does not hit either. He just manages to get short sword up and deflects Garvin's battle axe to the side. The, the wrong dice. The wrong <laughs> dice. <laughs> Otherwise, bad showing for the new uh, fucking dice tray. I know. Does he have any bonus actions or anything he wants to do? Uh, no. Because, I mean, his uh, he has defensive fighting style, so it doesn't reach that far. He can't use the bonus for anything, what I remember. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I mean, yeah. the defensive fighting style, all that does is add a plus one, I think. Crazy, but... Yeah, yeah. That is fine. <laughs> the celebrity has arrived. Yeah, this celebrity yeah. has arrived, yeah, indeed. It is Zurich next, so... I cursed... Oh. <laughs> yeah, the weak visitor there. <laughs> Emerald. Really? It's professional. No, it's not at all. It's very, it's very cute. So don't don't yeah. ever say sorry at all. Um, yep. It has just turned to Zurich's turn. So Garvin was side by side with Zurich, and he's just rushed up 15 feet to engage two drow. 
um, that you're now, she's about 15 feet away from you. Did... <coughs> Sorry. Nice. Did I have someone in front of me or did I actually finish them off last turn? You finished them off last turn. So the, the there are two that are close to you. They're 15 feet in front of you, but there's nobody next to you at this moment in time. All right. Well, since it's so nice that he can come back thrice, I think, uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to blast him with some Eldritch power. That's fine. <laughs> I take it there's one that's... Um, there's one that's damaged and there's one that's not damaged. So I take it you would target the one that's damaged with the first I, one. And you Yes. Yeah. You kill I. him with the, <laughs> you kill him with the first uh, Eldritch, mm. Eldritch blast. Wonderful. And the second one. Mm -hmm. uh, I've No, but I've uh... Added both oh, sorry, it. sorry, I had the turn order over it. I didn't see that. That's fine. All right. That is not a problem. Yes, they both hit, and you don't kill the second one, but uh, you do do a significant amount of damage to him. Mm, wonderful. And I, I feel like I'm standing in a pretty good spot as well. So, yep. yeah, yeah, that is fine. Alton, mm -hmm. you are engaged toe to toe with two drow. That is correct. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Alton will just be looking up at them. Kind of, he's he's not for melee. Um, what will he do? What are they? Uh, what are they wearing? They have uh, chain shirts um, and sort of dark leather leggings and boots, um, and they are carrying. A hand crossbow slung at her uh, waist and a short sword. Go. Nice leather uh, wrapping around the handle. Okay. Uh, Alton will. Let me see, what can I do here? Uh, okay. What he will do is he will um, raise his hands up. Uh, mm -hmm. his hair will start to statically spike <clears throat> um, there will be little sparks going between his spiky hair um, and he will thunder wave um, he will thunder wave at third level okay. so that is a con save against 16 First one rolled a 15 uh, plus zero, and the Whoa. second one rolled a 14 plus zero. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do melee very good. <laughs> Alton has one, one reaction, and that's... Yeah. Um, let me just find... I, I don't have many d8s, but I don't have many to roll. That's fine. Uh, oh, that's an eight. Uh, plus <laughs> a three. Lemon. Plus a seven, 18 points of force damage, and they get blown back 10 feet. That kills both of them. <laughs> so they wow. sort of ragged all away. They well, just they... ragged all away, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Can I ask for no particular reason at all? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> yeah, go what, on. What, what spell slots do you have left? What spell slots do I have left? Yes. I have. Oh, no most of them left actually i have used two third levels and and that's it i believe because i used okay. a lot a lot of uh reactions and counter charms and things like that that's what i was doing yep. last session so that is fine not a problem um okay so in other words any... Alton, alton's armed yeah any bonus action or any sure. movement you want uh, to do when I look into the okay what's the situation I know three more came in the window and these two came up to me uh, yes but remember the, the last you got rid of two of the ones that came in the window by using your Chatter. Um, no the uh, suggestion oh, and they've yes, run right. away oh yeah that's correct <laughs> Yeah, so whilst there were at one point six, um, two of them have run away, and now three of them have been killed, leaving one 
uh, fairly injured one left and the two maw demons. Okay. And the, the the wizard that you know that is on the roof because you heard him yes, use his he spell and you bamfed. heard him land up there. He bamfed. Did I hear him land up there? Yes. Oh, darn it. I would have done something different. But it's okay. <laughs> Death has happened. Death has occurred. It's, it, it's, um, it's, one of, it's one of the unfortunate things when there's a break of a week that you do forget these wee bits and pieces. Is Solaire still up? <clears throat> yes. He looks injured but and bloodied, but he mm-hmm. uh, is still <clears throat> quite healthy, relatively. Okay. So that's, I will cast a healing word towards him at second level. Mm-hmm. Yay! Um, so it's 2d4 plus my modifier, which I can't Who's remember. Who's in the that other is. corridor? One second. Everybody else. Yeah, Alton's, in the, cor- Al- Alton's in the right-hand corridor on his own. Yeah. You're in the left-hand corridor, Mara, and now, um... Oh yeah, okay, so it's plus eight. Oh, okay. One second well... there now. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. So that is a three plus four, seven, seven. plus eight, uh, fifteen. Plus eight? Yeah. Because you, you add, or did I, am I taking... I don't think you had your proficiency. No, it's just your stat. No, it's right. just it's just your stat. Just your your, your, your charisma, charisma modifier. Ah, I do apologize. So <clears> that <throat> was seven plus. Yeah, one sec. <laughs> Going back to the other thing to see it. <laughs> I think yours is a five. If it's a plus yeah, eight. yeah, it is. It is plus five. So oh, twelve. Uh, Feel so healthy. Um, and I will say <laughs> I will I will call out to Salir, or rather, the Quill will. Um, wizards on the roof, and he'll, <clears> he'll point to his ring. But pointing to you, like, Misery, you yep. get up there. Yeah. I, I, I will find the, the the comfort of a of a of a of a doorway. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. And that will be my turn. Mister Samir, you have I two will. Oh. horrific uh, yeah. more demons. Yes. Confronting you. I will also. Follow the guidance of my small friend. Yes. And Misty Step after the wizard. Ah, okay. Let me just double check exactly what Misty Step says because I've forgotten since last week. Right. Misty Step, can go where you want to go. That's a bonus <laughs> action, I believe you can cast it anyway. So. Yeah, yes. Pretty sure, because otherwise yes. it's kind of useless. It's a, it's a, what I want to know is it's about if you know the place, an unoccupied space that you can see. Right. So mm-hmm. I shouldn't have actually allowed the wizard to do that last week. So because I did that, I will allow you to do it this once time. So Just, that I've not. Celia so got lucky. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Alton There's pointed a mirror. To, also, Alton pointed to where he heard the steps on the roof. So. Yeah, exactly. But for future, <laughs> it's future only so. Get stuck halfway between two floors. <laughs> Indeed. Ah! But, in the roof. Yeah. Just, just, mirror. just for for you the clarity though, we will do that more strictly in the future. Um, oh right. We'll get, it, we'll get it right in the future. <clears throat> I, I just like. I eye the demon and then just disappear into a cloud of mist. <laughs> the awesome. demon goes, "I am so powerful." <laughs> Does he disappear in like a, a like a a puff of bats or something? <laughs> Explosion <laughs> of bats. Maybe maybe if it if it was own, but because this is a, a drow one, I think it is just spider just sort of <laughs> spider <laughs> web. It's like there's like oh, yeah. silken tendrils through the air, <laughs> so, so, almost but, as though someone's. Come down and like plucked him, and he's just left sort of wee tendrils of spider web in the air. <laughs> he's basically like given, he's given these maw demons a facial. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no, that, that was very terror like. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And by that, you that no spot him. Of course. So, so I see the wizard. Well, let, let me roll something to begin with because. Let's see how close you are. So, <clears throat> roll me. Yeah, roll me just a, a d6. Tell me what the, what it is. Four. Yeah, you are 
toe to toe with him when you oh. appear. <laughs> oh. Tag Just, team. Yeah. yeah. Now, gonna... the, the one thing I also want you to see is can you give me a perception check with yeah. advantage? Yeah. Uh, disadvantage. <laughs> Disadvantage because you're all po- oh, right. So just straight in that case, yeah. Sixteen. You see some other figures on the roof. Oh, oh. I might have killed Salir. No, no, no. I regret nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's an he's an adult. He can make these decisions. <gasps> God damn it! That sounds, that sounds like a really good role. Yeah. Yeah. Like sounded like lines. a real cool looking token. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, didn't, I didn't see that. So I've got so much stuff up, but Oh yeah. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, Look. those boys are really cool. Look at them. I mean if I've ever seen a named character, that's one. Or four of them. <laughs> what is that thing he has? He has he has just appeared in the uh, turn order. Hmm. No. Well, I'm still going to hit this wizard. Oh, there it is. Okay, now that we've seen, because like, the name appears above them, like in World of Warcraft, so we know which one is the important one. <laughs> there's yeah. no, there's no, no way there's like a blue exclamation mark over one of them. Or, <laughs> it's, a, you know, it's a skull icon it, next it's to like the game. One of those, or maybe it's a green one to suggest that like, these are usually the bad guys, but you could talk no. to this one. Okay. No, <laughs> all, all the uh, other ones look exactly the same, but it's the one yeah. with a unique model. You all know that all of the creatures that I put in my game, if they have the intelligence, can be spoken to. But anyway, <laughs> as you as you appear, uh, that is what you see in front of you. Yeah, I'm real. Just they are all they are all within 20 feet of you but the wizard is directly in front of you maybe maybe after i murder this wizard if i get like on my first hit yeah get him murder uh 26 oh yeah right no everything's reckless because i'm poisoned (laughs) that that (laughs) does hit I said that last week yeah he did again everything is reckless because i'm poisoned (laughs) everything is reckless with you anyway yeah, it is. Fuck one damage. Oh, <laughs> bummer. I love my math. One plus. plus one plus seven is eight. Plus two is ten. That's still enough to kill him. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> I need to get on that roof. Yeah. That'll be fine. I'll solo these guys. I, I just get a feeling they're in front of someone real real good at fighting stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just pure meta, of course. Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> Do yeah, the but... maw demons also disappear? Oh, well, let me double check. I'm oh, yeah. Not sure, I'm not sure if that's concentration or whether they're just summoned. Yeah, or not. If, it's summoning, if it's a summoned monster, I believe they stay, but I could be wrong. Because I oh. believe that the ritual is the spell and then they're there, right? Uh, it varies depending on which one. Well, the casting. Yeah, it's not, it, yeah, it's not, it's not a, a ritual because that's something very specific in some yeah. lesser demons. Oh, yeah, that's a Mordkainen's. Mordenkainen's. Yes. No, no, Xanathar's. This is Xanathar's one. Xanathar's spell. Yes, it is concentration, so they do disappear. Oof. Oh, nice. That's even more XP. <laughs> I'm just going to mark them as dead, but yeah, you, you know what that means. Yeah, anything with an X through it for the stream is dead. They're no longer, <laughs> even though they're on the picture you're seeing, they're not there anymore. They're merely husks. <laughs> merely empty husks. I am. Um, do you wish to do any movement? Because you still got your full movement. I wish to do my movement towards these obviously oh. very decked out enemies. Did you mm-hmm. take out that wizard? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Mm. Get his ring. He, remember, he, he was super, <laughs> oh, he was super badly ring. burned by your fireball, Alton. So I did get he him. was oh, yeah. 
he was just about to chug a big healing potion and re-enter the free, so that was quite good for the party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but I also can't grab his ring right now because it's a pinman anyway, so it'd be a waste. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> just, just let's I'm gonna not, go. Lest yeah. we forget, it's just. Yeah, I'm gonna run into the this fray of enemies. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Um, they are basically aligned as they are, so you can go. You know, they're sort of um, in front of the the main dude. Um, Does it look like a dude or a girl? A dude. dude. All right. Oh, dude. Dude. I will murder one of the lesser minions. Mm -hmm. Lesser mooks. And <laughs> recklessly. 26 again. That does hit. Come on. Higher than a one. Higher than a one. Higher than a one. A 10. So 10 plus 7 plus 2. 19. Yep. Damn. God. He, he takes that with a grimace. But... Uh, He's he's taking Mother. the blow. Ooh, when I see that he's still standing, I question my actions here. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Wait a minute. Wait. Uh, Mara, Why do you still love? Yes, it is you. Um, and yeah. there are where there were six drow and two demons in front of you. There are, now is only one badly injured drow looking. Slightly nervous at his prospects. Right. Uh, I saw Stelir disappear. Mm -hmm. And Alton shout, up on the roof. Yes. Okay. Then, uh, yeah. So, seeing as this, I'm having issues with the uh, roll 20. Uh, oh, but right. I am going to cast Spirit Weapon? Mm -hmm. Or, yeah. <laughs> What? No, uh, no, I was, I was thinking. Cast it. I, I, no, yeah, no. I was. I was thinking of the priestess. She had the yeah. enemy priestess yeah. had one out. Yeah, yeah. The oh, yeah. priestess yeah. had one out, and it never even managed to get an attack in before she got killed. Yeah, so mm. that's good. Uh, rather than her, like her usual kind of uh, beautiful golden scythe, mm -hmm. this one looks kind of monstrous and sort of bent to it. Uh, and she will use it because I think it gets to attack the first round. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, what do I add to it? I just add my proficiency, my spell proficiency. It's, right? it's like it's like you're making an attack roll of the spell, so it's your yeah, proficiency yeah. plus your um, casting stat. So she's attacking, and it's all, there we are, back again. It's all kind of blinking away sometimes. Let's see. So that is a, god damn, this dice box is not giving me good rolls. Um, so that, 15, I think? 15 just hits. Oh, that was lucky. Uh, and it's... D8 plus ability modifier. Uh, right, so that's 8. And the last row in the main uh, area goes down. Right. Uh, Lovely sumptuous, uh, sumptuous carpets are slowly uh, <laughs> absorbing an awful lot of blood. <laughs> Uh, I've redecorated uh, the walls, brain matter gray over here. Eh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am guessing. Yeah, I can't cast any other spells this turn. Well, you can because move. there are no other targets. You can move. I can move, yeah. But I can't go to the roof. Or do I know if there's a way up to the roof? You don't. Well, you would probably know. Yeah, I there, there, there's, there's no actual like staircase or anything up onto the roof. Well, there's like right. ropes hanging down from where the drow came from. Did mm -hmm. they use ropes? Right. Th yeah. Or, there was, or no, did they nobody, scale up? Nobody, nobody, nobody has looked anywhere. So oh. <laughs> so okay. That, that is a supposition that may or may not be true. But nobody's actually gone out and looked. Yeah. After, 
after Mara uses the uh, the scythe and basically implants it into his head like the the brain monster from uh, the Starship Troopers, mm. she'll go to the window where the drow come from and just scope out the situation because they're fighting outside and sort of look okay. up. Yeah, make look up, look a, down. Make a perception check. Yeah, I am very bad at perception. No, you're not. <laughs> come on. Oh well, twelve. But that's because okay. I rolled a nat one. So, well, you rolled a nat one. I, so I, I bad at perception check, but I've only got <laughs> plus eleven. Plus eleven. <laughs> you need um, to try to so, sell a nat one, so right. You look up. You look up first, because naturally you know that Salir went up there. So I think yeah. naturally you would turn and look up, and you can't see anything other than the 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 eaves of the roof coming over. But you can hear. Um, the the noise associated with the the combat that Salir is engaged in. Yeah, a twelve isn't enough that you don't know what numbers are up there. There could be one person. There could be another hundred up there. For all you know, when you look down and you see several of the shield coin um, engaged in combat with more drow uh, dressed in the same way in the street, um, or not the street, but the the courtyard what would you call it yeah, a courtyard around the the temple um but you can see another breakaway bunch of drow coming towards the wall below where you are um that look intent on climbing up oh damn uh yeah you, you don't quite get numbers with a 12 that's because in six seconds it's just a glimpse it's just a group okay uh but there's no rope for anybody to get up, or for people to climb up, or they're do these? They're just... spider drow. They'll be fine. Yeah, they are spider drow. There is there is no um, actual rope or anything. <laughs> They'll do the thing with the really like low budget movie when they're coming up the wall, and it's just they're just going. Oh, yeah, they're, they're like 19, 1970, 1970s yeah. Batman. No, no, not, <laughs> not that. I'm talking about the one where they're not actually touching the wall, but they're going up really fast. Oh, yeah. yeah. You see, like, they often do it with vampires in movies to make them look yeah. menacing, but they just end up looking yeah. really stupid. To make them look like, oh, that's such an unnatural way to oh, move up a yeah. wall. No, every way is unnatural <laughs> to move up a wall. <laughs> Even what you do. But the, the one thing that you do see again with the 12 is there is a lot of cavities and in sort of bits in the brickwork to make climbing up to the roof not impossible. Okay. Uh, but I don't think I can do that during my turn. No, you, you, you've taken all of your movement to get to the window because you were okay. back, back at the same day. You've, got, you've used your action to cast the spell, so you have a bonus action, but that's not enough to start climbing up. Into the... Okay. Did you so attack then... with your spell? With your... Yeah. My scythe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I crushed... right, he, killed, he killed the last drow that's in the main room. I yeah. see. So... So as Mara gazes out the window, she'll kind of turn back to the people inside and just go, There's fighting in the courtyard! There's a way that we might be able to climb up! There's fighting in the streets! <laughs> people Game in the streets! Put a beat out there! <laughs> <laughs> so, the drow that you see uh, come closer, they, they're obviously dashing to come, and they're now clustered at the bottom of the wall below you and um, <laughs> starting to prepare to climb up. <laughs> I, I, my brain Other. is so stupid. I just, just thought of. Is one of them called David Drowey? <laughs> <laughs> it can be. <clears throat> yeah, that's, 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 that's Drow's full name. <laughs> <laughs> so, it. It, it is the Silken Woe Assassins go. And oh, they God. all cluster around you. Um, so Did we get the yeah, River yeah. Hives back? <laughs> I'm sorry, can, we have blue... can we have a blues duo with Zombie Steve and uh, David Drowey? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Do up, so, do up. Arm falls off. <laughs> they, take, they, they all take out um, a short swords. Uh, the first one gets a uh, 22. He has advantage. That is with advantage. I'm rolling right. with advantage. The second one rolls the same. Hit. The <laughs> third one is a nat 20. Mm. That one, that one doesn't hit. And the fourth one is an 18. 
How does oh that God. go for you? Oh, they all hit. Every single okay. one of them. Wow. Right. This is going to be a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. These are rogues, and they all have sneak attack. Uh, do they? Oh, yes. Oh, my oh, yeah. God. Well, the first one we, doesn't. We didn't. <laughs> Why doesn't the first one? Didn't he have to come have to me and he didn't have an ally next to me? Oh, the first yeah. one doesn't. That's correct. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, no, no, that's fair enough. It was the third one that got a crit, though. Yeah, but the first one, he's not sneaky. I saw him coming. Can the ring be used as a reaction? <laughs> right, Could first one does... We... No, no, let, let me do this. No talking to you now, because I need okay. to concentrate to do all his maths. First one does nine points of slashing damage. Got it. He rolled a six. Just to ask, we're not giving the half now, we're giving the full for him to sort of... Or is he not raging? I, not no, raging. I'm I'm giving the full so you can oh, yeah. I, I do it myself. Yeah, I can do it myself. Yep. The second attack... Does... 12 points of damage. Okay. This is the crit. Okay. Rogues. Ooh. Oh, he's. Oh, no. That's a calculator. 28, 30, 33 points of damage for the. Oh! Big number! Oh! And the last hit. Oh! 13 points of slashing damage. Mmm! Are you looking? Look at that! Wasn't that bad? Yeah. I'm alive. Oh okay. Okay. My God. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's your health pool, man? <laughs> yeah, hundred. Oh yeah, the triple. But it's actually, yeah, yeah, it's, it's actually it's actually like two hundred. Yeah. Oh yeah, because of now uh... it's much less. Mm. <laughs> um, just as a uh, draw steps forward. And just sneers mm -hmm. at you and goes, if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing yourself. Oh no. And he gets a 17 to hit. Can I, can I, can I hear the attack? No, they are death. Uh... <laughs> Thing is, if, if, if Salir, you, you did stop something, because if Salir hadn't, I'd rolled before the stream, and they rolled 22 and 24 on their oh. stealth checks for the two groups. Okay. And they were going to sneak in behind Alton. <gasps> oh, he would have died. Oh, I wouldn't have survived, so. <laughs> That's what he was asking me about my spells, that son of a dick. Yeah. 26 Sneaky. points of damage from Droll. Oh. How many? 13. 26. And that wasn't sneak attack? No, that was sneak attack as well. Okay, yeah. so he's a rogue-ish thing as well. Okay. He's yeah. surrounded he's by a, he's, a, he's a higher level than the other ones. Oh, well, I, mean, I, I, I put it in so. the turn order, they are all assassins. Mm, mm. They came to here to do, 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 some, do some work, do, so yeah. Do some assassin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they prepared for this. Yeah, clearly. To us, <laughs> to us it's Friday. <laughs> Do you survive that? Yeah, I still alive. Oh, you lucky fuck! Bloody hell! I'm just floating at a healthy fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, looking bad. My God, not looking the best. Imagine the sounds of that from upstairs. Stab, ah, stab. No, he doesn't make any noises. Oh, really? Of course it does. He, he silently that, takes all of those wild. noises. Into it. That, that's just he one of these. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> almost like silence has been um, cast because <laughs> they are silent and he's silent. He's not. He's not going to let them know how badly he's injured by getting stabbed this often. <laughs> he's bleeding everywhere. Is that all you got? And these these guys are making like no noise. Nope. Oh, they're so scary. Yeah. So, uh, looking at the turn turn order. It's I'm looking at. I'm it's looking at my bad. abilities as a barbarian. What can I do? Uh, you, if Garvin runs out, blink, if Garvin runs out again. and looks at, out the window, does he feel confident in climbing up to the roof? Make an intelligence check. Right. Uh, where is his? Here we go. Six. 
Yeah, sure. He can do it dead easy. Yeah. He can climb. He he'll he'll attempt to climb. Okay. Make like a Miley Cyrus check before. with disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> athletics. Uh I mean at least he's good at it. I know he'll be good at it. Oh no. <laughs> wow. Uh that is a eleven though. <laughs> okay. At least he'll take out the drow that are climbing up. <laughs> I, I was going to say, as, as as he starts to climb up, he loses grip and falls to the ground below. Um, okay. How many feet is that? It's like twenty, so it's not going to be a lot yeah. of damage. Um, but he is a dwarven cannonball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they, yeah. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give them a, 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 I'll give them a bit. He gets uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage. Right. <laughs> Does he and say the, the, the drow see him coming and, and jump out of the way? But he is now surrounded by eight drow. Can you do a cutscene of what he says, even though none of us will see or hear it? <laughs> <laughs> I really want to know. I don't know. Yeah. Pressure now to come up with something cool. I don't know. Oh, God, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, so no, I don't. I don't. I, I, I don't he, he starts climbing and realizes, and he just goes for it and tucks up and just goes cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> he owns it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I wish he was a battle rager now, so he had that spiky armor. It's <laughs> just oh, like yeah. mm. <laughs> anyway. so, that's Garvin's end, that's now, end game uh, content. Yes, mm-hmm. indeed. Oh yeah. Um, that's that that's taken everything. So that is okay. Garvin's <laughs> Sorry. You have yeah. just seen your good friend Garvin climb out of the window <laughs> and quite obviously fall to the ground outside after trying to fall <laughs> to the roof. Yeah, Sarek runs through the window, places one hand on the uh, what does he? Window edge. Chill, the sill. Yeah, yeah, the sill. Yeah. Yeah. Just leans out. And is he still falling or has he landed Dropped. as I look at No, out? no, no, no. He's, he, by the time you get there, feet. he's hit the deck. Yeah, all right. Like, ooh, that's bad. <laughs> 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 he coils away. That's going to smart. But then again, uh, he looks out the window. He just wants to see how close is the next roof from the building. The roof is, is it's only probably about 10 or 12 feet up. The, 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 the ceiling here is quite high, so it's maybe a 10-foot ceiling, and then there's maybe another, well, maybe let's say 15 feet. Um, how far is it to the next house from where I'm standing? To the next ceiling. house. There's, it, yeah. Or is this just... I mean, no, this this building sits quite centrally in a in a square. A so building. there's oh, yeah, I see. I so see. There's, there's no houses nearby at all. It's like a gated mm. temple community thing. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, but I mean, if you're asking, it'd probably be sixty to eighty feet to the next uh, nearest building. D- doesn't matter then. Uh, I, if I let's say if I can see the ledge of the roof, could I? Mr. Step onto the roof. Yeah. Yes. Within range. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'll lean out the window and jump up there. <sighs> oh, <that's... laughs> and you, in, in front of you, see about 15 feet in front of you, um, you see Salir battered and bloodied, surrounded by five drow. I imagine the blood is now pouring down the roof and is like kind of dripping a bit. <laughs> he, he, he is rent with many many stab wounds <laughs> um, yeah. you have your action left because that was a bonus yes. action um, Indeed. but you have no movement left because getting to the, the window and was the was the, yep. the limit of your movement oh no that's good uh, well seeming sur- surrounded I suppose he will just raise his hand have the little serpent mm-hmm. coil around it and uh, once again, do a double blast with the Eldritch. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first one misses, and the second one hits. I take it you'd be targeting the one that was injured, um, and yep. he takes that as well. Uh, he is gravely wounded, but is still up. Mm-hmm. It's got to go freaky down yeah, there right. now. Okay. 
And Alfin, it is you. Okay. Hmm. Do you have Mrs. Step too? <laughs> Is he the only door? I have. I have. Fuck, I am the only one. A lot one. stronger than that. But okay. it takes an action, so it's you know it's got its it's got its drawbacks. Yeah. Uh, okay, you teleport yourself from your current location to any other spot within range. It doesn't say you have to see it. No, or... if it's a dimension door. What is the range? It's like 400, 500 feet. Oh, yeah, if it's dimension, feet, yeah, yeah. dimension door, you don't. Have dimension to see it. door, you don't have to see it at all. No. Yeah, mm, that's good. So, yeah. I will. I'm, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'll be sort of. I don't know. You tell me where I am. I didn't see where I went. Well, well, no, but you, <laughs> no, you tell me because you know what the outside of the building looks like. You've been here a few times in daylight, so you. I'm sure Quill well, has flown over it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's, it, the thing with Dimension Door that's different to Misty Step is you choose where yeah. you want to be. Okay. So you either say, "I am going to the top of the spire," or "I'm going to go here," "I'm going to go there," or "I'm going to teleport 400 feet directly." south or you know if you if you can't see it that's the sort of thing you're doing does the spell on the where you arrive make noise um yes the way it is is it's literally a door comes behind you and you sort of open it and step through and a, a door appears in a flash at the other end and when you step through it you step through at the other side i understand Okay, so it's not like a massive noise, but it's not stealthy either. So we have currently four drow. They're all surrounding uh, Cillier. And five, we, five, four, five drow. Yeah. Oh, that's correct, including uh, Drow. The boss. Yes. Yes. Um, or whoever he is. Okay, so I will. And I presume he's like. Is he in this formation that you have, basically? Mm-hmm. Um, when they first started, but they're now completely circularly around Salir now. <laughs> sort of fanned out, so he's in the middle. Um, so it's like... Can I... Quick question. How many people are surrounding Garvin? Nobody. Nobody. Oh, sorry. No, downstairs. Eight, I said. Um... Okay, so I will. So if this is the scenario, I will bamf and be like maybe thirty feet behind the the draw fellow. Yep, that's not a problem. Um, and Alton will sort of bamf on the other side. See Salir. <laughs> ah, settle himself. You cowards don't want a fair fight. He'll take out his rapier. Yeah. <laughs> Assassins shying away from a fair fight. What is this? Alton doesn't know what that is. No honor amongst thieves. But that's all I can do. Uh, actually, I'll throw him a healing word. Siege. I'll throw him a healing word as well. For what good it'll do. Um... Any health is health. Yeah. That's... <laughs> um. Eight. Got it. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> so that's all that's enough. <laughs> yeah. Slayer is you. You've seen a couple of your compatriots come to try and help you and feel ah. the healing energies uh, also familiar from Alton. Sure, you kind of ruined me. It kind of ruined my escape plan, but uh, why? All right, because I'm not going to leave you guys up here now. <laughs> Uh, but I know how much said, damage these uh, guys can do. Alton has all of his Extraction. ammo. That's all I'm saying. This this is that part of the movie. Leave me behind. No, we can't leave you. And then they come back and they get the guy. The the main thing actually is that you get healed somehow. Or just yeah, safe yeah, for yeah. around even. I can get some of these guys down. That's all I need to do. <laughs> what are you planning? <laughs> I'd be surprised if you didn't kill one of them this turn. I know, and that gives me some healing. <laughs> Don't tell him things like that. <laughs> Just stay in the middle like a dope. Because he's got two. I much. know. <laughs> Do I want to hurt him? Do I want to hurt him or do I want to disengage? <laughs> Well, no, I can tell. I can tell you one thing now: is you can't disengage because they've surrounded you, and you can't go through 
an okay. enemy's no. You can't you can't go through an enemy. That's something that halflings and gnomes can do because of their size. Mm. You can't go through an enemy's uh, space, so you cannot disengage. You can I misty can, step. I still can't escape. <laughs> yeah. the, the misty step was I wanted to disengage, jump off the roof, and misty step back into the building through the window. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> but I can't do yeah. that anymore. No, I, 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 hundred, I applaud that. That is a fantastic uh, thing. Oh, uh, oh, 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 carry on. Your go. Uh... One of them is wounded, right? I'm going to hit him with an axe. <laughs> yep, that's fine. <laughs> hit him with an axe. God. We do it recklessly. I believe in you, Salir. I don't. Yeah, do it. <laughs> I'm hitting the injured one. Mm -hmm. Why am I only rolling six? It's 26. That's like four in a row. It's so low. Oh, no. I'm hoping like Aww. a crit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you don't have to roll because uh, he's Sweet. got two. He's got two hit points. So you're gonna... I will Do you so... cleave him in twain. I cleft him in twain. Nice. <laughs> but also now that I guess this is the first time this has actually happened in combat in a while, uh, as he murders this drow and like cuts it, some of the blood from the drow, like, stays in the air, and goes into Salir. Huh? Yeah, Alton, Alton, you have seen Samir kill many people, but you have never seen this happen before. But I can't unsee that. <laughs> okay. No. Fucking hell. It's just like thin oh, tendrils of the blood he, of the, that he's taken and just like twisting through the air and just fucking vampire yes it comes, up, it, comes up, yes. it comes up through his fingers and sort of swirls round and just sort of disappears some of his wounds up. wait some of, so some he's of like, the knife like slowly he, knit up he's like oh, the old that's... he's like the sp the old spider-man uh animated series which man has the suckers in his <laughs> in his hands you ever see that yeah. one he's morpheus the... i believe yeah, 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 the, yeah. Vamp the vampire yeah. did yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And I will now hit another one. Oh my god. Yeah. Do it. Look at this guy. He Kill does. Him. Only 18. On a control blood cantrip. Yeah. Uh, 18 <gasps> hits. Sweet. Big damage, big damage, big damage, big damage. That was a two. <laughs> two plus seven is nine, plus two is eleven. Yep. Why does Barbarian have the most math? That doesn't make <laughs> sense. No. He's a doctor. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, bonus action? Oh, I, I don't want to be here. Can I... I am going to re-engage a rage. Can I re-rage? I'm going to yep. re-rage. Because mm. so, it's it's because it's, it only lasts ten rounds, so it's about to yeah. Get out. I well that, and I also am getting the temporary hit points for raging. So bolstering myself. Up. Yeah, I'm oh. getting juiced. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, I, so like, he like he rages again. Now like surrounded by enemies. Like some of the night, I don't know if they left the knives in him or just slashed him, but some of the blood that was like pouring down him is then like, started to hover around him in, like, a sort of defensive circle. This is now getting really angry. <laughs> this is the lowest health I've been in a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mara, you are on a window ledge. There is a battle above. And, and battle you're, there. you're, yeah, that, that hasn't started yet, but Garvin seems to be surrounded by a few drow. That does not look good. <sighs> so I'm super fucking conflicted now, because it doesn't sound like shit's going well upstairs, but she does have an Oath of Garvin as well. How would you mm. Oath the man who Oathed you? What? <laughs> I see your Oath and I raise you an Oath. Yeah. <laughs> That's a one-way street, man. <laughs> <laughs> he must sacrifice himself for me. Yes. <laughs> um, Mar's yeah. the popular girl in school. <laughs> Sac Dang. Sacrifice yourself for me. Yeah. Gavin's, Gavin's the captain of the, the football team. 
Corbot. <laughs> yeah, with his stats, yeah. Uh... You want to go to the dance, Mara? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he carries the cart there. Um, if I climb the building, is that my action? Yes. To climb, oh. yeah, probably. Because you have to get to the window, too. I am at the window. Oh, yeah. Well, it would just be yeah. movement then, wouldn't it? Well, you need to climb. Mm. Nah, you have to climb. Oh, okay. There's, there's Unless no... you have a climb speed. Yeah. Doesn't everyone? Only to back, so you start with a climb oh. speed. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah. Damn it. Right. Shit. Um. Fuck. Oh, this is <laughs> so bad. Oh, this is just juice to my ears. No. Mm, Nectar and juice. honey and everything. Like, I know personally that Garvin will defeat these assholes downstairs, but he's still outnumbered. And you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Without, he has a shield and he's got 15 AC. If they're assassins, they all get sneak attack. Yeah, but these the guys downstairs don't see. You, you don't. Um, know <laughs> you don't know what the assassins look like. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't even know about us. Actually, you, to be fair, you, you don't even a, know that you got a twelve actually. on your perception check. You yeah. don't know. That's what true. Happened. I don't even know if Garvin's down there. You, well, you, you would have heard him. <laughs> <laughs> Cannonball! Cannonball! <laughs> uh, By the way, didn't you see the shield coins fighting? Yeah. Down there as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, Abandon him. Abandon him. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. As, as like the choices come up on the screen, like Paragon or Renegade. Um. This is where Mara becomes an oathbreaker, fallen cleric. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Sweet cleric. That just yeah. sounds fucking cool. So, yeah. it does. Um, no, a genuine. You, your character, you play her as she would be played. What would how, decision? How far away are the shield? Going? They are. They are all over. Um, right. Fighting. They're. They're, you can tell, uh, no, from a 12, you couldn't tell anything like that. But there's none right. within, there's none within uh, 30 feet of Garvin at the moment. Okay, so. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Thank you, honey. Get there faster. Um, right, so Mara's going to cast Bless on Garvin and two other shield coins. What's the range on Bless? 30. Yeah, so you can do Garvin, but you couldn't do any shield coins because oh. I, I said none of them were within thirty feet of them. Oh, sorry, sorry, I misheard. Arr. And um, remember, he's twenty feet down, so they would have to be. Oh, no that is true. Ten, they would they would have to be no more than ten feet away from Garvin to get it done. So in any of effect. Uh, and all my my good ones are like further off than that. Shit. Uh, I'll use my bonus action to send the spirit weapon upstairs. Uh, I, I think it, I don't think it's got the movement to do that. It only moves 20, 20 feet. feet. It only moves 20 feet, so you can bring it from the middle of the room to the window. Yeah, I can't send it through the roof since it's spectral? No. Yeah, you have okay. to send it somewhere you can see, unfortunately. You have, to, you have to have sight on it at all times, otherwise it dispels, or it just sits there in anim. So if you put it into the into the ceiling, it's just going to sit there forever because you're never going to be able to see it again. Okay, so then Until spirit we... weapon to me. Yeah. To me, spirit weapon. And then... Because uh... I can only see Garvin. Everybody else is without, outside of my uh, view. Yep. You could probably see the edge of Siric. Because he's, mm. he's just on the edge of the... the... Fuck it. Then we're Floor running bless on me... Siric and Garvin. Yes, you can do that. Sweet. Right. Um, that is my action and my bonus action. Uh, yeah. So that is all for now. That is fine. Uh, I'll just do all of the attacks on Garvin as the uh, draw. <sighs> yeah. Attack him. Uh, natural one and eleven. They both miss. Yes. Uh, 20 and a 12. Not a natural 20, a dirty 20. That one hits. 
uh, 11 and 9. Jesus, they're rolling really bad. And a 21 and a 22. So is that three hits? Yes. Three hits, yeah. Yeah. Twelve points of piercing damage. Wow. Your original assessment of the situation was probably correct. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, that, yeah, that's what I know personally because, with like, Garvin also feels like the type of person who would be down there being like, <laughs> "Thank yeah, you." Absolutely. Did you reckless the last round, Swear? I was did. It, of can, course, I did. He's always reckless. Can I just ask, was that 12 total? 12 total, yeah. Okay. I'd be crazy if I didn't, reckless. <laughs> the first one rolled an 18. That'll hit. The second one rolled a 19. That'll hit. And the third one rolled a 21. God. That also <laughs> will hit. Uh, cutting words, uh, the 18. Okay. Uh, and I'll cut it by five. That'll miss! <laughs> mm. it's, it's your 14, is it, your AC? Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck, I'm rolling well on the D6s this week. Um, the first one does 26 points of damage without yeah. a trick. <laughs> that's, two, that's two off maximum. Ooh. And the second one does 10, 14, 15, 18 points of damage. Okay. How are you looking as Draw stands up in front of you? I uh, did. I did twice. Uh, I mean, I am still standing. <laughs> Bruce, Dr- Dr- sort of, you see Dro smile at you, and he sort of, it's, it's, it's a, an appreciation of a, of someone being able to take such punishment. He sort of <laughs> nods, nods, and then well, you are Dr- a stubborn one. If you let me do the math real fast, I'll just tell you what the number is that I've been at today. Did, did I not, uh, at all compel him to not kill <laughs> Severe? <laughs> No. We, Fuck. Okay. Jabber, you should totally like run a percentage of how much damage you've taken. Uh, well, 254 damage so far? Why did yeah, you so say that's that? 254 percent. The uh, draw rolls a 24. That, that, was, that was very close to being a crit. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think I could survive a crit. I don't think I might, be able to, I might be able to survive a crit. Jesus, how many dice are you rolling? Twenty-seven points of Fuck. damage. That's thirteen. I was at twelve HP. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! I hit the ground. Darwin. And hmm? I think as 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 he as he takes a short sword and sort of runs Salir through, he just turns to you, Alton, and just gives you a wee wink. <laughs> Alton winks oh. back. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun game we're playing. That's <laughs> two hundred and eighty-one total damage. It's a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. Why did you stay there? <laughs> oh my god. I he needed to. Character. I know. I, I, know what, it. I know what he's doing. The problem is, it's like, I, if they're <laughs> hitting me, to. they're not insta killing you guys. Mm, that's fair. And I could have a bit more credit, okay? If if Garvin wouldn't have fallen down, I could have done a level four <laughs> cure wounds on you, but it's fine. It's fine. Don't we all lie. fine like one. And uh, Garvin will Garvin. attack his yep. uh, immediate assailants. Mm-hmm. Mm. First attack. That is a 22. Hits. Right. And I will bring out the associated die for maximum luck, I guess. Does Garvin have cleave? No. No. Mm. 
Interesting. Cleve. No, well, he does in, in, in Neverwinter Nights. No, I know, but isn't, is he not a fighter of a certain level? Do they not have it? Depends no, on feet or something. Okay. Cleve is yeah. an ability. Oh, it's very handy, though. Consider it. Isn't it a co combat it maneuver? It's a, yeah. it's, it's, a, yeah. it's a, yeah, battle master. It's not as, as OP master. as in Neverwinter, but it is. He, he's a champion handy. fighter. Yeah. Thing of yeah. The thing with the thing that Garvin does is he crits on nineteens as well as twenties. Yeah, mm, that's good. He does. Um... Wait, what? So it says attack plus eight to hit and one target, then hit plus seven. So hit should be damage, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Your attack is your your attack is your plus to hit. And then your plus set, and the seven is probably the damage. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Why is it seven? It should, because it's like plus five for the strength, but what else? Yeah, there's nothing else should be added to that unless it's a magical weapon. No, wait, yeah, maybe it was because there was a versatile. No, the non versatile, and he's on versatile, yeah. That doesn't but add still... to it. it. It changes the dice, not the damage. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, something. No, it's something to do with uh, his fighter um, fighting styles. He gets. Oh, if he's, yeah. If he's, oh. if he's if he's if he's fighting with one-handed weapon and a shield, yeah. he gets extra extra damage. Plus two damage. Yeah. I remember yeah. That. Mm. Oh, okay. So then, uh, nine. nine, nine, nine takes 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 a hit. It's very badly wounded, but it's still right. alive. The same guy gets to take. And that one? That misses. Yeah. Damn. Um. Uh, no, wait. Let me let me think about this. Because that is a nat one, so that would be a total of nine. Nat one automatically fails no matter what. Okay, yeah. Oh. Never mind then. Because he has blessed, that's what I'm thinking. To hit nat one always will fail. Always misses the same way as a 20 always hits. Right. Um, how badly in the hole are we? Because uh, it's D10 plus fighter level. Yeah, let's let's fucking roll up the uh, the second wind right now. Then we have it used. Right, second wind inside the box. <laughs> right, so that is plus fighter level. Come on, brain. Uh, eight plus six, yeah. Fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. So yeah, that is his turn. Sirik, you have just seen that your friend Salir murderized. Mm. Not dead, but you can say he is bleeding profusely. He has gone down. Yes, he has uh, hit. He has hit the the slate roof. He passed out. Um. Seeing as his attack did basically nothing last time, he uh, like he almost feels as damn it. He was too a bit too late to actually have an impact uh, on the situation. Uh, so he sort of you know stands a bit more aside. Uh, like uh, how do you say he takes like a step out? Mm -hmm. Side steps. Side steps. Yeah, side steps, and. Uh, holds both his hands like this weight at the waist level and uh, his eyes starts to narrow and in it's both of his hands th yeah. this like massive green energy starts to flow and uh, it form uh, like gathers in his mouth shaped as an arrow and he will fi like spit out this uh, moon elf's acid arrow at yeah him. Yes. Acid arrow. yes Yes. Badass. Hopefully mm. it will do so oh. mm. wonderful wonderful. <clears throat> Yikes. That's so Yeah, no no. It hits. The the damage is wrong in the spell because it's not rolled any damage at all. So no, it hasn't. roll me forty four <laughs> to add to that five. Plus a plus a one. Yeah. Uh, from my yes. the weapon Indeed. I actually have. So so, so it's so 44 plus 6. 
Mm. Mel, <laughs> ass it out. Mel is actually a character that was in the Gygax home game Oof. back in mm. the day. It's okay. Yeah, it well, is. it's... That's yeah. average as fuck. That's what you want. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yeah. So you see um, the uh, the one that I think again you targeted the one that was injured. So it, it, it again it recoils and um, that's a fifteen for those. A lot of, of pain. Fifteen damage, but it is still up. Yeah. And in all of the damage that you've done, these ones are there's something different about them. They just they grimace and stuff, but there's just they don't talk. They don't shriek or make any noise when they take damage. They're just silent, stoic. Well, Sir doesn't recognize that. He sees them all as just, well, these darker elves. Mm -hmm. it, it, the facial difference, if they show any, sh mm -hmm. uh, show their faces at all, it, it is not recognized as being different. Absolutely. Uh, um, so, and, uh, well, I would like to cast a Cure Wounds. No, a, yeah, a Healing Word, I mean, on uh, on my friend Selir. Monemi? It's just a full first level, but... It's enough. Yeah, that's full. That's all you can do. Eight, eight hit yeah. points. Nine hit points, because that plus yeah. one, boy! Yes. Very nice. I'm alive! And then I'm gonna bolt as fast as I can, to, as far as I can as well. I don't know how big you're, this you're structure about, is. You're, and... you're about you're about fifteen feet away from them, but if you go around the edge, thirty feet, <coughs> you can be the full forty-five feet away from them. And up on them. Wonderful. That's what I'll do then. Cool. Mm -hmm. You see, Salir regain a little bit of his health. Is <laughs> still lying prone, surrounded by drow. <clears throat> can, can I, can I to play dead? Can I hold an action, uh, like a spell, as an action? You can. Yep. Yeah. the 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 thing with the thing, you have to tell me an exact trigger that would trigger it. Yeah. And if you don't trigger it by the end of the turn, you lose that spell slot. Mm hmm. That's the way it works, but yeah. absolutely you can. Okay. Um, just so you know, for the future, it doesn't it doesn't matter just now. But if you have a concentration spell up, you can't hold a spell as an action because it takes your concentration to do that, unless you choose to to dismiss the other one that's been concentrated up. Sure. But that's not a problem at the moment. No. Um, <clears throat> okay. So Alton will and he'll form a. A uh, little orange bead in his Pamva's hand. And he'll say, Cilia, get out of here. And he will hold a fireball. <laughs> and obviously, upon Cilia getting the fuck out of there. We're going to set fire to the roof of the Temple of Akeen. Whatever. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's okay. It's so, it's so bloody it won't catch. So far, Alton knows Drow have a weakness to fire, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, any bonus action or any movement? Back up a little bit. A <laughs> 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 back up, like, maybe 15 feet. I'm already, like, 30 feet away from Drow. That's right, yeah. So, yeah, I'll I do think that. we lost our lizard. Oh, yeah, his phone fell over. He'll, he'll reconnect. That's yeah, all good. He'll be back. Yeah. They oh. always come back. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so. He's, he's, he's still about because he's typing in Roll20, so we'll soon see yeah. what he's got to say about it. Well, um, if you go gnome, you don't go home. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> so later. Yeah. I will. I. I will, in a typical vampire fashion, rise up without use of my arms. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna 
<laughs> okay. And just like just like do the snap forward and stare at Drow. <laughs> just be like, and then still here. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm going to hit him with an axe first, and then... Okay, 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 okay. Scare the shit out of me. <laughs> no, I'm hitting him with an axe. No, I understand. No, I will um... hit you with my axe. One, strike. Two, <laughs> two. Does a 15 hit? No, it does oh, not. Oh, that is sad. One, me. He manages to block. I will use my other dice. Right. Does a 22 oh. hit? It does indeed. Cameras are all gooey. If he rejoins, yeah. we'll get him back. Cool. He's he typed into roll twenty. He's just he's just uh, he'll be back in a second. He said. Yeah. 17, 18, 19 damage. Hey, yes, you kill a second one of the Silken Wall assassins. Two, two dead assassins. Yes, max health. I more blood is sucked from the air. <laughs> and he just looks at Dro and just does does a cheeky wink and misty steps. <laughs> okay. And that triggers Alton's fireball. What is your, <laughs> what, what is your DC? Six, oh six, to eight. begin with, where do you misty step to Salir before we behind <laughs> Alton? Okay, so you get yeah. well. No, you can't. It's there over feet. over you, two you Alton them, in that direction. That's well, I like can I can misty step and then move yeah. to Alton. You're teleporting oh, to block his line of sight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, the first one gets a natural twenty. Oof. The second one gets a seventeen, and draw. Gets a okay, they all make it. Uh, in that case, uh, oh, no. check. I'm pretty sure they've all got evasion. No, you're not. You're okay. Draws the one oh. evasion. Evasion. Oh. Draw takes. Draw takes no damage because he's passed his his uh, dexterity check. It's all right. When the roof gives in, he might take some. <laughs> and this is the deck save in which case he won't but he's already used his reaction oh that's not it's, it's a, a, I don't reaction? I don't think it's a reaction whatever I'm just making Un, uncanny, sure uncanny <laughs> dodge undanny cod undanny dodge <laughs> undanny cod undanny Un? cod is a reaction Un, right undanny Dan down. that's that's now the barman of the Trollerman's Troll. Trust. <laughs> 17, hold on. Sorry. 12, 17, 21, 25, 29, uh, 35, um, 35, 38 halved, basically. 38 halved is 19, and they will both use Uncanny Dodge to half it again to... Uncanny Dodge only works on melee attacks. Oh, does it? All right, that's fine. That's not a problem. Or it's... weapon attacks. Cool. Because they have evasion to counteract AoEs, that's why... Yeah, they don't have evasion. Yeah, if, you, if they could double up on that, that'd be insane. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that is fine. <sighs> Rogues. How's the roof? The um, roof. The roof. The roof, the the roof, roof is... is it, yeah, it's been hit, but it's it's very well-constructed slate roof, so whilst it probably couldn't take a lot of damage um, at this moment in time it still seems relatively structurally fine but you can't well actually roll me a perception check this always goes super well <laughs> seven okay you can hear that the fire below is starting to take hold the fire below 
Well, Alton fireballed the main lounge in the Overgold suite, so <laughs> he he may have just burnt the Temple of Joaquin down. <laughs> any, any sign of rain? <laughs> <laughs> On the inside. Rather, there's a rather warm Mistral type wind that's just doing enough to fan the flames. <laughs> lots of paper, lots of oh, curtains. No. And you just know that all those little clerics down there are going to be like, somebody call the fire department. <laughs> you rob a bucket. No, 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 no. We pay the fire department. Mara, it's your turn. I call the fire department. No, uh... Hmm. Uh... Right. Damn it. Because I'm still in the same position now. Yeah, I tell you what, is it worth our while before we go too far? Is, is it worth our while taking our break a little bit early yeah, and then that'll that. maybe allow Emeros time to rejoin? We can I happily do that, that's no problem. Yeah. Oh, that? Sorry, no. sorry, Terror, if, if that's okay no, no. with you. Usually, so we're doing it like now, it. we're at the end of my or at the end of I, the I think we'll just do it now. straight away because then that, that gives Emeros time to fix uh, his camera and stuff, so we don't yep. have to keep yep. going too long yeah. on that. Yeah. Um, All right, everyone. So we'll take the so, usual 10 to 15 yeah. minute break. And 10 to 15. We'll be back shortly. Just going to mention we'll that all, all, all this month we're running a uh, sub only competition to celebrate reaching Twitch affiliate um, yep, for yep. a chance to win Icewind Dale Enhanced Edition, uh, which is an awesome old school game uh, RPG style CRPG. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, okay. And my fellow playmates here are ridiculous people. Anyway, if you if a sub will get you in, and we'll do a draw of a hat. I think it's the October twenty eighth, which is the week after next. I think. Am I wrong? Uh, three Wait, weeks today. Yeah. Three weeks today. Yeah. Don't listen to me ever. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Two weeks, twenty days. That's all it works. <laughs> all right, everyone. We will speak to you all shortly. Thank you so much for joining us today. We will see you five ten minutes. Bye bye. bye.